Sully Man here. Objects. Illustrator. What are they? Confusing. Intimidating. Uh, in actuality, they, they, they really aren't. Um, to put it simply, objects are anything that you're creating or placing into a document in Illustrator. Um, for example, this is a picture I found online. I love Grumpy Cat, so I put them in. <laughs> this, uh, this is a raster object. Uh, these other elements over here are vector um, objects that I created in Illustrator. Um, this right here is a uh, an ellipse. I use the ellipse tool, which you can find uh, in this shape drop-down menu, this ellipse tool right here. Uh, I clicked, dragged, created an ellipse. I then said I wanted to have a fill of red, which is the inside fill. The stroke, which is, think of it just uh, like a line if you're drawing a line. Uh, the stroke that goes around the path of the object, um, I wanted yellow. And I set the stroke width to 11 points. And I can change that on the fly if I wanted to. Uh, so there's an ellipse. I have lines that I can do. I have um, this polygon that I can create. Uh, a square right here that actually has a gradient fill instead of just a flat color fill. Um, the circle here, it's a nice perfect circle. These are all objects. You know, and, and uh, if you notice something, um, this object falls behind this object. Let's drag this object. This object's in front of all three of these. This circle falls behind the line. Um, that's that's uh, stacking order. You got to keep that in mind. Um, that any object that you have within Illustrator has a stacking order. You know, so just think of. You're looking from a bird's eye view on top of these objects. Um, but yeah, these, these are all objects in Illustrator. You can do all sorts of things to these, change the colors, distort them, add strokes to them. Uh, you can subtract one object from another, creating a new shape. Um, you know, there's all sorts of stuff you can do with objects. I'm going to run you through a few of these things. Um, also, keep in mind, like with this, this picture here, this is a raster, these are vector. And I'm going to show you the difference. Right now I am zooming in, and I'm using a shortcut key for that, and I highly suggest getting to know those. Um, the one that I'm using, uh, I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm sorry for all you Apple folk. Um, I mean, I, I used Apple for years, I just, uh, you know, I've gotten to the workflow of use, using PC, so um, your option and command keys are going to be different uh, from mine, but essentially the same. Um, when you hold down control and then press minus or plus, minus is going to zoom you out, plus is going to zoom you in. Um, you could also use the magnifying glass to click then drag to create um, a square that you're going to be able to zoom into. Or, like I showed you in the initial video, you could use this uh, fly up me menu and select the percentage that you would like to zoom in. Um, with that, it's uh, all around document size, then you're going to have to move around with this. Um, you could use your mouse's middle scroll button if you're on an Apple. Um, you know, it depends on what mouse, the magic mouse. Uh, I think you can just kind of scroll with your finger. Um, you could use the hand tool, which will allow you to move this doc document around wherever you want. Um, there's also a shortcut. Um, say I was using the selection tool, and I can select objects with this. If I held down the spacebar, if you notice, when I push it down, the hand shows up. I can move around, and when I re release, it disappears. I'm back to the tool that I was using. That's, that's one of my most highly used shortcuts when in Illustrator. Get to know that one pretty well. Um, so beyond that, let's get back to what I was trying to explain with the vector and raster. This is a vector object. Oops. I'm zooming in here. If you notice, this edge is nice and smooth. I mean, you're probably going to see some uh, really faint, jaggedy edge because that's just the monitor showing the anti-aliasing. Um, but uh, there really isn't any there. This this is infinitely resizable and will stay crispy. But if you notice, at the same level of zoom, this nice crispy edge versus looking at his nostril. You know, there's the shadow in the nostril. It's super pixelated. The more I zoom in on this, you're starting to see the pixels, the little squares, those little blocks of color. 
those are the pixels. That's what makes up a raster image. It's just thousands of pixels of different colors that, when zoomed out, give you the illusion of a nice f photographic image. When you look at it, this doesn't look like a photo at all. You know, it's just all just kind of colors everywhere. But when you organize them in the right way, you get a raster image in the form of a photo. And that is the difference between vector and raster. It would be nice if we could take a photo that was vector quality, but that is not yet possible. So let's get back to it. So we have these objects. Um, and to create an object, um, there's all sorts of things you could use. Uh, you, you have, uh, and like I said uh, in the previous uh, beginning video, this is section off really f for your, these are the creation tools, your main creation tools, whether it's cutting objects and erasing them, uh, using your pencil smooth and path eraser tools. Uh, you have your brush tool, and these are your shape tools. So you got flares, stars, polygons, ellipses, rectangles with rounded edges, and your regular rectangles. Um, you have line tools, arc tool, spiral tools, you know, rectangular grids, polar grids, you know, to create grids. And then your pen tool. This is your custom line tool, whereas this is just a straight line tool. Uh, and then text objects as well. Um, I'll go ahead and just put word down. I used this in another video. This also is another kind of object. So text objects, shape objects, and raster objects. Those are your main types of objects. Um, the next video I'm going to get into showing you how to create um, vector objects in Illustrator, not worrying about these photos so much. You can find those anywhere. But really getting in depth on um, you know, the, the tools for creating things and some of the techniques to really kind of start diving into this. Uh, so again, stay brave. Don't uh, be intimidated by this stuff. It really is kind of a no-brainer thing. You will pick up on it. Just keep practicing and, and learning the vocabulary, learning this interface, and playing around with it. The more you do, the more comfortable you will get. I hope you guys took something from this today, and uh, keep on watching. I'll see you in the next video.